This presentation is intended for patients who are currently experiencing balance problems and have been referred through to the Norwich Balance Clinic in the audiology department at the Norfolk and Norwich University Hospital for balance training. This presentation will cover the ear, the vestibular apparatus, the balance system, when it goes wrong, additional symptoms, what is balance training, what does balance training involve, what will the exercises be, and patient's own experiences. The ear consists of the outer ear, middle ear, and the inner ear, and the eardrum separates the outer and middle ear. In the inner ear, we have the cochlea, which is the organ of hearing, and the vestibular apparatus, which is the organ of balance. The vestibular apparatus is made up of three semicircular canals. Each one of these canals is filled with fluid and they act a little bit like a spirit level in controlling your balance. When you move your head, the fluid moves in one or more of these semicircular canals, which subsequently moves the tiny hair cells, which send messages to your brain that a movement has been made. The anterior semicircular canal detects vertical head movement, that is up and down movement. The posterior semicircular canal detects head tilt and the lateral semicircular canal detects horizontal movement, that is side to side movement. The vestibular apparatus also consists of the utricle and the saccule. The utricle detects forwards and backwards movement, such as in a car or motorbike. The saccule detects up and down movement, such as lifts and jumping on a trampoline. To help you balance, you use messages from your ears, eyes and muscles and joints. If you moved your head to look over your left shoulder, the fluid in your ears would move, which would subsequently move the hair cells and send messages to your brain that you have turned your head to the left. Your eyes would also be telling your brain that your visual world has moved and the muscles in your neck would contract and again tell your brain that your head has turned to the left. If all three of these inputs, that is the ears, eyes and muscles and joints, agree that you have moved your head by the same amount, then you feel fine and are able to balance well. If one or both balance organs are damaged, then the information received is reduced from the ears. The brain doesn't know how to interpret the information correctly and there is a mismatch of information between the ears, eyes and muscles and joints which leaves you feeling dizzy, disorientated or unsteady. So for example, if you have a left damaged balance organ and you turned your head to the left, the eyes, muscles and joints and right balance organ would all send out the same amount of messages, but the left balance organ would send out a reduced amount of messages so there would be a mismatch of information which would leave you feeling dizzy, disorientated or unsteady. The brain can stop trusting the ears and can become heavily dependent on the information from the eyes. You may have noticed that when you are in a busy environment such as a supermarket or a crowded place that you often feel dizzy, disorientated or unsteady. When a person without balance problems goes into a busy environment, the brain just uses the information from the ears and muscles and joints to keep balanced, as it knows that the information from the eyes is unreliable, as the eyes are detecting lots of movement. When a person has a balance problem, they may have become heavily dependent on the information from the eyes so when they are in a busy environment their brain uses the information from the ears, 
eyes and muscles and joints and this leaves the person feeling dizzy, disorientated or unsteady. So for example, if you have a balance problem and have become heavily dependent on the information from your eyes and you are in a busy or crowded place, the eyes would send an increased amount of messages to the brain compared to the ears and muscles and joints. So there would be a mismatch of information which would leave you feeling dizzy, disorientated or unsteady. A similar sensation can be experienced when you have no visual information such as in the dark or if you have your eyes closed. You may also find that you look at the floor or focus on an object in the distance whilst walking to enable your brain to use your visual information to help you balance. In addition to the balance problems, it is very common that patients can become anxious, feel low, feel panicky and can adopt an incorrect breathing strategy. You may experience none, some or all of these symptoms. All of these symptoms can exacerbate the symptoms of imbalance or slow down recovery. So what is balance training? It is a set of exercises that provoke the sensations in a controlled manner. This allows the brain to recalibrate itself so the messages from the damaged organ can be understood and related to the given movement. It allows the brain to become less dependent on the information from the eyes in certain situations. Once the system is recalibrated, symptoms reduce. Alongside the exercises, we also treat any anxiety, low mood or incorrect breathing strategy which may have been adopted. You will usually be given six exercises to do at home. It is important that the exercises are done twice a day, whenever fits in best with your day. The exercises need to make you feel a little dizzy, disorientated or unsteady, but should not make you feel dreadful. You will be reviewed every four to six weeks in the department when your exercises will be made more challenging. It is not an overnight cure. It can take several months of doing the exercises twice a day before you start to notice any improvement. On average, patients have five to six appointments with us. Here are examples of some exercises which may be set for you at the level which is appropriate for you. Standing in the corner of the room, and this is for safety, with your feet apart while standing on the floor or on some foam with your eyes open. You may make these exercises more difficult by removing your hands from the wall, bringing your feet together, doing the exercises for longer or closing your eyes. Another exercise may be passing a ball between your legs. You may make this exercise harder by speeding it up, bringing your feet closer together, doing the exercise for longer or closing your eyes. Another exercise is walking whilst moving your head from side to side. You may make this exercise harder by speeding it up, both your walking and the head turn, or by doing the exercises for longer. So how do these things make the exercises more challenging? Well, removing your hands from the wall one fingertip at a time reduces the information from your muscles and joints. Bringing your feet closer together narrows your base of support which makes it more challenging. Closing your eyes removes your visual information which makes the exercise more challenging. Lengthening your time 
but do not do more than two minutes and speeding it up also makes your exercises more challenging. It needs to be a gradual progression with your exercises. You won't get better quicker by making the exercises really difficult. You'll just make yourself feel very unwell. You do, however, need to make sure that the exercises do provoke some sensation. Otherwise, your balance may not improve. We can guide you how to do your exercises, but you are the best judge. They need to induce the symptoms mildly, but not make you feel dreadful. Keep yourself busy and active and try not to avoid or slow movements down. Please ring us if you have any questions about your exercises. Our number will be on the last page of your exercise sheet. You may or may not have already been given some exercises to do at home. Don't worry if you haven't. You should have a future appointment with the Norwich Balance Clinic for balance training. At this appointment, they will establish what is currently bringing on your symptoms and ask you to do some simple tasks and exercises to assess what brings on your symptoms. Your current exercises will be reviewed. You'll be given some new exercises to do at home. We will review you every four to six weeks in the department when we will make the exercises more challenging.